we have a problem. This is a Honda Accord 2004. In the morning, when it's cold start. So we're going to start the engine to see how it start. You see, once it start, it start is at 15. Let it warm up a little bit. So this is go up and down by itself. See the idle? It's go up and down by itself. We don't know why, so that's what I'm trying to find out. The first possible problem is there's a leak on the intake of the mixture. Uh, this could have a leak or other part could have a leak. If when there's a leak, the, the computer in, inside the car will think there's a change of a mixture. So revolution of the engine will change. Usually go up. How do you find the leak? There are two different ways to find it. One is to use the sensor yeah. on the car. One is to use your own sensor. Your own sensor, for example, your eye. So I made this on the vert tip. There's a little bit thread. So if there's a leak, there's air sucking inside here, this will, should change. And in addition... Wait, what should change? This will move. Oh, yeah, this will move. If Think about if there's a leak, if there's a hole here. And uh, you just notice where the leak. So another thing is when if there's a leak, you hear the hissing sound. Hissing, hissing. Hissing, hissing sound. So what I made is like this is from dishwasher tube. If there's a tube, I use this one tube, put it in my air. One is here. So when engine started, right now it's not started, I will go over here, try to find whether there's a leak. So I use this to find out whether there's a leak with my air. A second way is if you have a carburetor spray, you can spray here. The, the spray is flammable. So when the spray here, if there's a, some liquid that goes inside the, the hole, then the revolution of the engine will go up. That's a, an a alternative way. The other alternative way is I use a, this is a propane. I use this to soldering. You know, this this will be the one to do the soldering. Originally, it's like this. This will get more familiar. So you do a soldering like this. What I do, I take this off, and also. This is a water heater pipe, and I put this in here. It just go right here. I use a tape to actually seal it, and then I put it back. When engine is running, you have this device. You turn the propane up. You try to feed some fuel somewhere, somewhere here. And if there's a vacuum leak here, if there's a hole here, it will suck the propane in. So once the propane is in, you see the engine revolution will be up. That way you can detect the location of the leakage. I tried this, it still didn't work. Since there's no vacuum leak, the next thing I tried is Honda Service Bulletin. This is Bulletin number 06040. It says I need to perform PCM software upgrade. But when I call the dealer, I give them my VIN number. The dealer says uh, my software is all up to date and they want to charge $170 if I really want to perform it, whether I need it or not. So I didn't have a software upgrade. Got a really cheap car reader. I'm trying to find, figure out what's wrong with the idle. Uh, the first step is finding the output. Output is somewhere here. It's hard to see, but I'm going to connect it. See, once it's connected, this has a display. And we're going to press enter. It will scan. It will go to various modes of scanning. It's uh, going to read, uh, just wait a little bit. Okay, now we should enter. It says a uh, fault, there's a one pending. 
we're going to scroll down is read the P0507. So that's the code, but doesn't tell you what's wrong. So you need a... So there's a guidebook. Guidebook. See, here's P0507. It says idle control system RPM high. So it consistent with our finding, you know, with the RPM is high. So that stupid reader doesn't tell me anything I didn't know. For code star, could this be a problem with the battery? It should not be a problem uh, because it's the idle speed. But I already have the battery changed a few months ago. Uh, you can click here for some tips of changing battery. Could it be the timing and fuel pressure? Or it could be there's an idle air control valve I could clean. I could adjust engine valve. I quote with the dealer, they will charge me 400 500 $600 just for the maintenance part of the uh, valve adjustment. And then I thought that I should check the document to see what other things, simple thing I can do, just perform the maintenance. I noticed the coolant needs a replacement at 120,000 miles. I thought that if I can perform the coolant replacement, maybe that will affect the sensor for the idle control. So that's what I did the next. What came out uh, after many years? The very strange uh, Honda owner's manual says uh, you need to uh, check the coolant and add the coolant but only mention 120,000 miles every time you change it. The bottom is really not that dirty. So after so many years it still doesn't look that bad. After you flash your coolant, leave radiator cap open while lighting the engine running for 10 minutes and then you turn on the heater to let the coolant circulate to push the air out. It is important you have the air out so the coolant can be very efficiently and more importantly the, the sensors are working properly. The idle control unit may need a time to relearn the control of the idling. I, I drove off in a hurry the car actually stopped at the traffic stop. It wasn't a big deal, I had to restart the engine, but it was scary. So the Eidolian, see, it's still doing, you know, up and down, not too much, but a little bit. So this is a uh, idolian. This is a uh, pretty warm, and you see what's the temperature. This is the temperature gauge, and the, the temperature gauge is here uh, below the fuel. And this is still doing this. At this point, I was both encouraged because it got better and frustrated because it could be something else wrong. But then I locked out. Without me doing anything, everything improved. It must be the idle control learning algorithm kick in. Now you see at code start, see temperature. So 1500 RPM is normal. Once the temperature is this high, it stabilizes. See, the idle is uh, around 800 RPM, and the maintenance required uh, is indication that uh, I need to change the uh, engine oil. Not anything serious. You know, I'm going to have a video showing that how we change the engine oil. Watch my next video. So this is a happy ending. It didn't cost me much to solve the problem to fix the car. After a week, the previous problem came back. The, the idols fluctuate up and down again. So we don't know what's the problem. I tried uh, to detect a leak again to see this is a carburetor cleaner. 
I sprayed uh, around here and uh, the revolution didn't change so we don't really have a leak and I also tried the problem so what happened is still the coolant system has a problem and I all of a sudden I noticed right now you don't see but the inlet this pipe the black one which pipe this pipe this black black pipe and this pipe collapsed right now it's not collapsed one engine is running is warm this is, a, is, is this a shape but when it's collapsed meaning there's a vacuum inside the cooling system that vacuum is caused by this cap it was was dirty the way the system works is when engine is warm this coolant is, has a more so the coolant flow from this into the overflow container but when engine is cool it will suck this coolant back into this so because the cap was a, a bad one the coolant cannot return back to the radiator after it's cooled so that was the cause of the idle because Honda uh, is really sensitive to the coolant system so what I did uh, you can either replace this cap it's about ten dollar or what I did was just rinse it the way you rinse it remember look at this there's a two seal one is this main seal that's a seal the black one yeah black one and the, the biggest one it's a main seal so the coolant doesn't come out of the radiator but this seal is for the returning flow see I can uh, there's a another spring here so make sure you open this one and rinse it well mine was all gunked so I had to really uh, clean it it's working now without a new one if there's a, a again there's a problem I will next thing I will replace this that's a tip How do you retrain the software to learn the idle speed? We had a problem with the idle speed and I checked the uh, coolant after coolant is still not stable. It's up and down so I we have this uh, hands repair manual. It's 2003 through 2011 and this has a learn procedure for PCM module. It says you must perform the PCI idle learn procedure after disconnecting or replacing the battery. So if you replace the battery, you need to do this process. If you replace your powertrain control module PCM or after cleaning or replacing the intake manifold or the throttle body, you need to do the process. In our situation, we had to replace the coolant because the idle speed problem I'm going to perform this I don't want to run the engine but just show you the process so you they otherwise the engine will be too loud to hear me so the first step you have to turn off all the electronic device there the radio the heater of course you put the heater in the max but not turning it the second step it turn on the ignition switch to arm um, for two seconds that will set your say this is the start of the training and then put the transmission in park on neutral I, I have a manual transmission so I'm putting on the neutral and run the engine for 3000 rpm how do you run 3000 rpm I have a manual there I either press the gas pedal or here there's a place on here I can use a screwdriver to jam it this when you jam here the rpm will go up so that's what I did I jam this into 3000 rpm and leave it until the radiator fan come out so there are two fans here two radiator fan this is the first fan this is the first fan this is the first fan and this is the second fan this is the second fan 
So the fan will come on. So that's the indication of a start training. If you have a temperature gauge, it says 194 degree Fahrenheit or 90 degree centigrade. Degree. Either you, you can either uh, based on the temperature or here's the easy uh, to see the fans on. So once the fans come on, you have to have a fan comes on and uh, like at least twice. So after the radiator fans comes on, allow the engine to idle at least five minutes with the throttle fully closed. So five minutes, the way to calculate the five minutes is doesn't count the time the fan is on. Say the fan comes on 15 seconds each time. So you have to, if it comes on twice, you have to extend the five minutes into say five minutes and 30 seconds. So minimum you have to wait that long in order to complete the training process. After watching my video, you see my serious solutions and problems. It should save you some time not going through the things I did that didn't matter. The number one, you should check whether those are recalled the software update. That's something easy for you to do. And this cap is also another thing you can check easily because I did not pay attention to know whether this was a collapse pressed together or not. So you notice a small signal, small things wrong and fix that um, right. So hopefully my video help you save your time and money. Thank you.